Good morning. It is December 2nd. It's very cold and frosty outside. Today's a very special day because I've just gone to sign some final documents as well as pick up the keys to my shop. <laughs> I have the keys to a shop and it's mine. And I guess now's the fun part because it's renovation time and I need to start planning the entire shop. Oh, I want to kind of go and unlock it and be like, <laughs> I might go have a little look. It's all official guys. Your girls open in a shop, a magical shop at that. I'm gonna go drive home now with this massive smile on my face. Today we're going to the shop and we're going to measure it. You're going to meet one of my friends that's doing this project with me. We're also gonna to go to look up paint samples and get a load of those. We need to contact a load of tradespeople as well. It's basically a load of planning that we need to do because this shop at the moment is an empty shell. It feels weird that I have keys to a shop and it's mine. Either way, I cannot wait to take you along the process with me. I am gonna show you everything that I can from getting the floor redone, from painting and decorating, to stocking, to all the little details. It's happening and I cannot wait to show you. I'm here in the shop. Um, just used my key for the first time. I'm here with my friend Leslie, who is joining me on this adventure. But we've just come to measure up the entire shop. The next thing that we want to do is over here, we've got like original tile, which we don't want to rip up, but we do want to cover. There is this gray section of floor, but here is like a little ramp and we don't really know what's underneath it. So we are going to try and kind of prise it up a little bit because we are going to get a floor fitter in or something to get the floor completely redone. But we're, we're intrigued why that there's a slope there. Okay, <laughs> pull it up. So this, okay, they've made the ramp, this is wet. <laughs> yeah, that's wet. They've kind of made a ramp with excess liner. We've already designed the list so we can do whatever we want. Yeah, okay, so it's a stone, it's a stone ramp. Okay, so we probably can't get that up. This is all wooden. All right, let's go. Picking up some floor samples. These are laminate floorings. I think this is one that we're kind of edging towards, but we've got a slightly darker one, a more oaky colored one and then kind of ashy brown. It's all very exciting. I think this may be one that we've fallen in love with. It's got like all these dark texture, kind of knotty bits. It's a vibe. Welcome to decor and shop floor planning headquarters. So all of these are shelves, um, a middle section, like a big table with a big grand kind of centerpiece on the ceiling all the lights, cashier desk and that kind of thing. We have got loads of samples, paint samples. I think this is what we're playing with at the moment. So we love this floor sample. We've got blue and gold for ceiling kind of things. So we want to do some sort of night sky. Oh my God, that gold flash, delightful. We've got some green for maybe something a bit planty, herbology. The something between these for cabinets maybe. And then we've got an accent color, should we need one. And then this beautiful, it's called antique gold. It's very exciting, but I think <laughs> this might be the starting place for the shop, the lost cauldron, oh my God. Very exciting. <sighs> okay, we are back at the shop. <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit echoey, there's nothing in here. We've just got our paint. Don't be alarmed when you see this color because it's not this color. It's a dark navy, but this is the color of the paint before it's dry. Oh. And it's quite shocking. We were like, what? <laughs> but it's not gonna dry this color, I promise. So think, think more of <laughs> Leslie's coat color uh, and a little bit darker. You've already got paint on your hand. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good start. Right, put the lid on, we'll leave the paint to the professionals. So this is the empty shell of the shop before we start any work on it today. I'm really looking forward to getting 
a first lick of paint on this ceiling. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's January 3rd, 2024. We've just decided to finish off the ceiling ourselves because unfortunately our painter decorator wasn't the best. The ceiling's still in a bit of a rough and ready state. There is roller marks all over the place. So that's on the cards this week. We've also got to rip up the vinyl flooring because we have a flooring specialist coming at the end of this month to level off the floor as well as fit our laminate, which I'm very excited about. We've also got to start thinking about the gold paint for the ceiling because we're doing stars. It's going to be a very magical ceiling, but we have some stenciling and paint trialing to do. We've also got to start planning our shelving and how it's all going to look and then actually order the stuff because we're building it ourselves. It's a new year. The project's going to really kick off over the next few months and I cannot wait to take you guys along with me. Okay, I'm here with a wild Leslie <laughs> with BM to BQ. We've got our very fashionable outfits on. We've got our paint on the I'm floor. Sure <laughs> it looks bright blue, but it's going to end up a lot darker. But there is roller marks. Look at them all. That's what the professional painter decorator did. So today we came in after we'd put the final coat on the ceiling. We've done touch-ups and it looks great, pretty much how we wanted it originally, but the decorator we hired, as I've already said, wasn't that great, but my glasses are steaming up and I look very sweaty and tired because we have just ripped up a whole vinyl flooring. <laughs> it was really tough, but we've done it, as you can see. Got all the rolls here. We need to take all this to the tip now, but. I feel like it's transformed the room just by taking that grey vinyl up because it wasn't that, wasn't that nice. Yeah, it's a lot brighter in here. But yeah, we had to take this up in preparation for our flooring specialist to come down later in the month and um, get our nice flooring in. I feel like things are slowly progressing. I cannot wait. I think getting our floor in. It's going to transform the space. It's really going to transform the space. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to start stenciling nice golden stars on the ceiling too at some point this month but we're getting there guys um you know if, if anyone wants to hire me for any manual labor <laughs> i'm your girl apparently <laughs> this was underneath it's all plywood it's got a lot of adhesive on it but this is the space now we've done our ceiling there's still masking tape so just ignore the messy edges but here it is this is our space <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back in my kitchen and we want to do a few tests for the shop ceiling. So we bought some plywood the other day and we've rolled it with the same paint colour. Granted we only did two layers so it's a bit darker than this in the shop. Got some stencils, these aren't going to be the final ones but we're going to use them as a, as a sample. We've got some stenciling brushes and then we bought something called empire gold gilding wax so it's so gold like it looks amazing so we're just gonna see how it kind of works because i'm probably gonna have to do all of these by hand yeah we're gonna give it a go and i'll show you how it goes <laughs> I and mean, i've never done this before have you no okay so this is a first for us all i don't know how much they <laughs> that you're meant to put on but got a little Should bit on tap on paper first no no okay mm. Let's just tap, see what happens. I mean, it's very beautiful. Okay, I'll we'll keep going for a few. The whole ceiling. Yeah, I'll get an army of star makers in. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. You'll have one muscly arm. Oh, I'm going to be hench <laughs> by the time the ceiling is done. I'm curious to see what this looks oh, like. Oh, nervous! Why am I nervous? Okay. All right. Ooh, that was a mark. Don't know where that came from. But either way. Yeah. That's beautiful. That yeah, is, that look is how beautiful that turned out. Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> and then that should um, dry down eventually. I mean, no one's going to be touching the ceiling anyway, but yeah, that works so good kind of hard to capture how beautiful 
they are in person. It's so glittery. But yeah, it's perfect. That, I think I started stenciling another star, but look how crisp it is. They look really nice. I think that's the method we're gonna use for the ceiling. We've got a floor. We've got a beautiful wooden floor. Um, I'm so thrilled with it. Our flooring guy did such a good job. Um, I've actually got Rachel here today. <laughs> yeah, I've got Rachel here today because we're going to attempt to stencil the ceiling in the gilding wax, which me and Leslie trialed. Uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult because our, our stencil's quite large. So that's why I've got Rachel to come help, so she can help hold masking tape and that kind of thing. This is the stencil, beautiful magical stars, and it's all gonna be gold on the ceiling. Fingers crossed, I've never done this before. Um, but yeah, <laughs> things are happening. We've got floor, we're doing ceiling, let's go. just realized I've got gold on my face and I've just been to the corner shop with that on there. We've done this so far. It looks amazing. It's going to be worth it, but it's taken 15 minutes per one. So it's taken us about 45 minutes to just get three stencils worth done. I think it's gonna take like 100 to 150 to do the ceiling. And I've only got Rach for today. <laughs> um, it's really hard to do solo. It's even, it's hard to do with two, but either way, this is what it looks like so far. It's really pretty and it's definitely effective, but oh my gosh, look how much ceiling I have to do. My neck hurts. <laughs> my arms hurt, my neck's hurt. Yeah, we've got, oh my God, whose idea was this? does look good though. I am currently at home today on the 31st of January and I am gilding waxing this ceiling medallion for the shop. A big pendant is gonna hang through the middle of this. Uh, I spent two hours doing this middle bit last night and I'm just spending a few hours today doing the outside bits and all the knobbly bits. This just looks so beautiful. This is the product that I'm using. It's actually really satisfying to paint and I cannot wait to see what it's gonna look like when it's finished. So after five hours, I finally completed the ceiling medallion. I'm really thrilled with how it looks. It looks so regal and looks expensive. <laughs> but yeah, it's taken five hours to hand paint all of the gold bits and I cannot wait to see this on the ceiling with our chandeliers, which I'm yet to show you guys, but oh my God. My back hurts and I'm gonna go have a break. Good morning, everybody. What's the date today? It's the 12th of February and I'm here with Leslie. You've just driven down from Scotland and he has, bless his cotton socks, we had a bit of an issue with our sign maker. So Leslie has made our shop sign. It's in the boot of your car. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's nervous to show me, but let's go. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Hopefully. It is. Okay, is this like the grand true? Oh! Oh my God, and you were nervous to show this. Oh, guys, obviously the chains aren't there and it's all gonna hang. That is beautiful. There's some imperfections in my opinion. That's no, really that's corrected. beautiful. Oh my God. Dude, that is so good. I'm glad you like it. I'm utterly gobsmacked. Um, you undersold your shop sign making skills. Um, I'm, not, I'm not professional. You should be a professional. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. Um, I've got that giddy magical excitement about this shot. I obviously already had it, but seeing the sign come to life. At, this has been one of the most special moments, I think, seeing the sign. <laughs> I made a mistake. I've got gold gilding wax. Look, we live, we learn. But the new floor, which is stunning, um, I've got loads of gold bits, but I'm just saying it's adding a little bit more magic to the floor, right? Um, it's really hard to get up. I feel very guilty about it, but here we are. <laughs> I'll get there. <laughs> Let's get some shots of the gold. Thank you. Your viewers are going to enjoy this. Yeah. <laughs> I can already see the comments. <laughs> We're just getting a massive delivery of wood. Um, from Juicin. 
Go thrilled. This is going to be a lot of wood. So we go here and then in here. That was a workout and a half. We've got all the wood in. Yeah, everything's slowly coming together. That wood somehow means turning into some beautiful shelving that's gonna hold all of our stock. So, wish us luck. <laughs> that's a really good look. <laughs> I'm gonna finish episode one here. I cannot wait to start episode two, show you where we get to with all the renovations. You are coming along this journey with us. I hope you have enjoyed episode one so far. Please leave a comment down below if you're enjoying it, things that you wanna see. We'll be stocking the shop and everything in a few weeks time. We're just cracking on, but yeah, the journey has begun on the Lost Cauldron Shop. We are so excited. So yeah, we're gonna get building and we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any future episodes of this renovation. Go head over to Instagram and follow us on there, which is at Lost Cauldron. You can also follow us on Facebook as well and threads if you like, all the links will be left down below. But yeah, this is actually happening. Oh, we are stood. <laughs> We are stood in our shop. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Let's crack on then. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.